Hey guys, Grady here. So today, I'm just here to talk about what's been happening lately. So, a guy named like Cesar Sorcha, or whatever his name is, however you pronounce his name, sent out packages that contained bombs to the Clintons and the Obamas. Real, why? Guys, you, you, Trump's base, why do you idiots still support Donald Trump. He thought it was funny. He th he was like, oh, ha, 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 yay, I'm gonna kill the past presidents. Why would you want to kill past presidents? That's criminal activity. That is assassination. That will put Trump behind bars. I guarantee you that will put Trump behind bars. That is not acceptable. Somebody who's our president, guys, okay? This is this is a problem. That was that finally did it for me when that happened. I was like, I am never I'm not a Republican anymore, okay? Fuck the Republican Party. Seriously. It's the party of these all these criminals. I understand that there are criminals on both sides, okay? I understand that. Yeah, there are Democrats who are criminals, there are independents who are criminals, there are a ma many numbers of people who are criminals. That doesn't mean that one side is, that the Democratic side is worse than the Republican side. Because from what I'm seeing, no. The Republican side is way worse. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm glad I became a socialist, okay? And that's another thing you Trumpers do. You instantly say every socialist is a bad per- Really? Why would you think that all of us are bad people? I don't think that all Republicans are bad, okay? I don't. I don't think John, I think John McCain was a wonderful man. Everybody should lead by his example, but no. You people in Trump's base, you just hate. Why? Why do you hate on people who don't agree with you? Oh, what? We in order to form a more perfect nation are not allowed to have civil disagreement. Really? It's the same bullshit. It's the same fucking bullshit. No, I didn't vote for Trump because I didn't want us to be divided as hell. Oh, but wait, we already are because Trump is turning all of us against each other. He's turning all every single one of us against each other. Because he wants you people in Trump's base. He wants you idiots to hate. He wants you to hate the Democrats. He wants you to hate the non-Trump Republicans. He wants you to hate anybody that doesn't support him. That's horrible. That is fucking horrible. That is... I am, I'm offended by this, guys. I'm, I'm offended by this. People say, oh, well, get over it. No, I'm not going to get over it. This is a huge problem. Certain things, you just don't get over it. You don't. Man, I swear, every time something bad happens, every time there's a school shooting, you Trumpers are like, oh, it was a Democrat. You know, every time that there's... You know, like mass robbery or something. Oh, it was the Democrat. Stop blaming the Democrats for every fucking thing. Because it's not just them. It is not just them. You need to realize that, guys. It is not just them. Okay? It's not. And you need to stop spreading hate and calling the other side horrible names because that is not making us united. That is dividing the hell out of us. That is adding more and more to that division, which we don't frickin' need. You people in Trump's base are a big part of the problem. I want you to realize that. And if you don't care, then fuck off. Seriously, if you just don't care, then fuck off. Go pack your bags and go live somewhere else. Fuck off. Okay? Fuck off. Seriously. This is a big problem for me, okay? Guys, I feel scared. No, I'm not proud to be a U.S. citizen. I am not proud of that at all. Not at all. And I, I never will be ever again. 
Never. It won't happen. And it's because you, Trump space, you just push and push and push and push people away from you. No wonder you guys, why do you think you guys are all being avoided? Why do you think people don't want to talk to you? You're just hating and hating and hating, and it's making everything worse. Why can't you get over the fact, you know, you guys think all Muslims are bad people. Yeah, all Muslims, yeah, okay, whatever, shut up. No, they're not. You can't condemn every single individual Muslim as a bad person. They are not all the fucking same. They aren't, they aren't all the same. At all. They're all different. All people in the world are different. You know, as much as I hate white people, and yeah, I'm white. Fuck white people, honestly, the majority of them. The, as in the United States, at least. They're horrible people. That doesn't mean all white people are bad. It doesn't. Okay? Because I don't think that. I don't. I don't think that. I've met tons of nice white people, and all of these nice white people were from other countries. Every single one of them was from another country. Guys, this is a big pro- I am scared. I wake up, and I fear for my fucking life every day. You know, I, I have never, ever once had- There's never once been another president that has gone around and told our- and given- you know, our allies the middle finger and told them to fuck off and then turned around and praise the leader of North Korea like he's a god. Really? Really? That doesn't bother you, Trumps. Really? Do you know what it's like in North Korea? It is fucking horrible over there. It is fucking horrible. The people hate living there doesn't matter if you're a man or woman, you're all treated the same, like fucking shit. And then we have a president who says that Kim is a wonderful, he's an excellent negotiator, he's extremely creative, and he's a wonderful, honest, loving, nice, caring man who should be loved, respected, and praised like a god. That's fucking horrible. You know, I am upset in this video, but let me tell you this. I'm telling you all this because I care. I care and I want what is best for our future as a country. No, I don't want a president who's going around telling our allies to fuck off. That's just horrible. That is just horrible. Why do you have to hate? I mean, yeah, I hate Trump, but keep, keep those thoughts to yourself, okay? Because you're not helping. You're making everything worse by hating. Everything worse. It causes wars. Hate causes wars. I'm a socialist, okay? I don't believe in hatred, okay? I don't believe in spreading it around, at least. I mean, yeah, some things I hate, but I don't spread that around because I'm not an idiot. Okay? I don't spread my hate around. You guys are, you, Trump's base, you're making everything worse. But it's not just Trump's base, okay? It is not just Trump's base. There are people from all sides that are spreading hate. Yes, yes, that includes people who don't vote. That includes people who are independents, that includes Democrats, that includes non-Trump Republicans, that includes capitalists, that includes communists, that includes socialists, that includes people who don't identify with any of that at all. People from everywhere hate. Stop hating. Please, it's not necessary. I'm telling you guys this because I care about you and I care that something doesn't ha like what? Do you guys just do you guys just want to go to prison too? That, guys, prison is horrible. No, I've never been and I never will go. But prison is fucking horrible. Prison is scary, okay? Pr you you guys ever heard the stories of people who are lucky enough to either escape prison or get released? It's fucking horrible. And the stuff that Trump is doing, that's going to put him in prison and he's not going to get out. 
he will not get out. You need to stop spreading hate, okay? You don't, you should not, especially those of you who are, who claim that you're religious, who back Donald Trump, you are the worst because Jesus, do you think Jesus wanted you to kill people? No! Do you think he wanted you to wish people dead? No! But you do. You are so fucking hateful. You guys say, oh yeah, Jesus forgives the sinners. Yeah, speak for yourselves, you fucking sinners. Speak for your fucking selves. Jesus does not want you guys to hate other people, but you are. You're just lying, okay? You're lying. You are lying. And you are defying your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're defying him. You're not going to go to heaven, okay? I'm not religious, but I'm not telling you you can't be religious. You can be religious, but you have to do exactly what it says, okay? Because if that's really what you believe, if you guys really believe you're going to get into heaven, you are not going to get into heaven if you keep lying to yourself and to your family members and if you keep hating on other people. That is not how you're going to get into heaven. If you spread love and peace like I do everywhere I go, then you'll get into heaven. But you're not doing that. That's what really fucking bothers me. I'm not saying you shouldn't be religious. I'm not. But you're not being smart about this, guys. You're not. Guys, I, I grew up Republican, okay? My family, we've, we're done with the Republican Party, okay? Nothing that anybody can say or do is going to make us go back because we have such a corrupt person in the White House. Raul Castro, a man who's hated by most of the world, but who is loved by the majority of Cuban-American citizens. Raul Castro said that he doesn't like Trump's neocolonialism plan. Castro is a wonderful, respected, respectable man. Okay? He is. He did so many wonderful things for Cuba. And you guys lose your fucking minds whenever, you know, people say they don't like Trump. Get over it, okay? People don't like Trump. I don't like Trump. Get the fuck over it. You're not going to change my mind. You are not gonna fucking change my mind. I'll never like, I'll never like that fucking creep. Never. Gosh. I can't, you know, literally, every Trump supporter, I don't care what the fuck happened, my candidate won. Really? You don't care, really? That's horrible, guys. You guys need to understand that this is a big problem, okay? I agree, I agree, no politician is perfect. No politician is perfect. Trump is not a fucking god, okay? A god would be perfect, no mistakes of any kind. Trump is not fucking perfect. Hillary Clinton is not perfect. Barack Obama is not perfect. No politician anywhere in the world is, ever has been, or ever will be. That won't happen, okay? That doesn't happen. Guys, I really care about you and your guys' future, and that's why I'm telling you, you need to vote blue in November in the midterms. We need to get sensible people in the White House, okay? There's a, there's a problem down there in the White House. It's a real serious issue. Gosh, uh, this this annoys me, guys. Like, I'm really bothered by this, but why, why aren't you? Honestly, why aren't you? Why, are you? why are you making everything worse? Oh, I can answer that. Because you just don't care and you're just that horrible of a person. This is a big problem. Especially if you don't care, then don't talk to other people about it, okay? Because you're just making their lives worse. 
We need to be nice and respectful to everybody. But you Trumpers going around using very, like, I'll even say racist terms towards the Democrats, that's not helping. You guys say, oh yeah, Jesus loves you, and then if they say I'm a Democrat, you're like, oh well, fuck you, go to hell. Really? That's, this is horrible. Guys, you are not very good or nice people. You need to really be careful and watch what you are saying in public places. You need to watch it, okay? I'm very concerned for your guys' safety. I don't want any of you to end up in prison. I don't. I don't want that for you. I don't want any of you to end up in prison. I don't want any of you to get beaten up. I want you guys to learn your lesson the hard way, but I want it to be learned in a peaceful way. That is the way to be. I honestly hope that they put that guy in prison. Look, Julie, what do you want, hon? The guy who, um, the guy who sent those bombs out. That's not cool. That will not solve anything. You know, why do you think other countries keep trying to pull out of business deals with us? Because they think that we are so corrupt that they think that there's no turnaround. I don't think there's a turnaround point at this point. I, I really don't think that there's a turnaround at this point. I think it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse from here on out. It wasn't even that great to begin with, guys. Obama was really the only president who actually did shit to turn it around. Anyways, guys, look, I really want you all to have a peaceful day, okay? And stop hating, because I'm not hating on you. I don't want bad, horrible, violent things for you, and I'm not calling you guys names. What I'm telling you is because, is because I care and because I feel threatened. I feel scared. And I'm telling you this because I care about you. And I want you guys to thoroughly listen to people. You guys all have a peaceful day. I sincerely mean that for all of you. Thank you for watching. Bye.